When the West is still for the gas turbine technology complacent, how China's military industry with 20 years of time will be heart disease into a power-free killer application? The answer to this question, hidden in the 055 destroyer roaring engine sound, also hidden in the reversal of the Sino-Russian military trade orders, once even read the drawings of Chinese engineers do not understand. But now let Russia take rubles lined up to buy homemade gas turbines, which is behind what is a comeback epic. In the 1990s, the Chinese Navy in the Taiwan Strait crisis, directly in the face of the U.S. aircraft carrier battle group of powerlessness, the entire military industrial system has become a pain in the heart. At that time the 052 type destroyer equipped with the United States LM2500 gas turbines, once the West cut off the supply, even out of port has become a luxury. 1,999 bite the bullet and bought four Russian, modern class, destroyers, but also reduced to the problem fleet, Hangzhou ship on its maiden voyage, that is lying down, Taizhou ship missile launch before the positioning device smoke, the Russian experts even said, drawings did not bring all. This humiliation in 2002, ushered in a turnaround, China to, scrap metal price, from Ukraine to buy UGT 25,000 gas turbine technology, but even the basic materials process is difficult to break through. The first replica QC 280 overhaul interval of only 200 hours. The thermal efficiency is 3% lower than the original. Thermal efficiency is 3% lower than the original. But it is these assembled imported panes so that Harbin 703 realize the truth. The core technology must be engraved with Chinese genes. The turning point of this power revolution appeared in 2016 when Xik Guang and launched the CGT 40 gas turbine. Western counterparts were still mocking. China only imitates this 42 MW power, thermal efficiency of 39.5% of the heart, the use of 3D printing single crystal blades, and a no-scale thermal barrier coating. The pre-turbine temperature exceeded 1,600 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Celsius higher than the British Rollo Mount 30. More shocking to the outside world is its modular design, 055 only need to install two sets of CGT-40. The total power beyond the U.S. Burke class destroyer four sets of LM-2500 configuration, saving 300 tons of weight just stuffed into the 16 patat tube unit. When Russia for the 4,000-ton frigate power worries, Chinese engineers have UGT-25,000 magic change. Out of the QC-280 IC version, the power soared to 42 megawatts, and even reverse output technology to help the Russian side of the transformation of the Gorshkov, class frigate. Technological breakthroughs are often accompanied by the fission of the strategic pattern. 2024 Arctic LNG-2 project of 20 sets of Chinese gas turbine order, the surface is energy cooperation, in fact, the decline of Russia's shipbuilding industry helpless, the Soviet legacy of the Aurora Design Bureau has long been technological fault, and China not only realized from 5MW to 50MW full spectrum of localization of combustion engines, but also developed a full range of combustion engine localization, but also developed a 300 megawatt class F class heavy duty combustion engine. It's 1,600 degrees Celsius temperature resistant blade technology so that US General Electric engineers privately exclaimed, at least five years ahead of us. This leapfrog development in the 055, embodied particularly shocking, 4QC280 IC to provide 150,000 horsepower, drive 13,000 tons of hull, soared out of 32 knots, all electric propulsion system can be at the same time for the electromagnetic gun, laser interceptor and 128 units of vertical hair power supply, a single ship is equivalent to the amount of power, generated by a small town. When the U.S. Navy for the Jumbo Walter class electromagnetic gun warships regret the premature death, Jiangnan Shipyard's 055B has quietly evolved 20,000 tons of displacement, integrated electric power system, dual band radar, and hypersonic missiles fusion, so that this sea transformer can be transformed into an aircraft carrier formation of air defense center, but also can carry the Hawk Strike 21 anti ship ballistic missile strike. More disturbing to the West is the horror of the production capacity. Dalian Shipyard pioneered the Dock 3 ships model. The 16th 055, launched in 2024, cost only one third of the Burke III. But the realization of the radar reflective area is smaller than a fishing boat stealth breakthrough. This quality and price double kill behind is the cost of domestic combustion engine from the import price of five times down to one half of the hardcore support. CGT-40 single procurement cost of only 8 million US dollars. While the US LM-2500, 
plus model price of up to 20 million US dollars. Standing in 2025 to look back, China's gas turbine comeback road is just a miniature mirror of the rise of great powers. From the dismantling of Ukrainian drawings, each bolt to guess three days of embarrassment to the world's largest 50 megawatts of gas turbine stunning debut. From the Russian equipment failure forced out, electromechanical business long to repair the pipeline in the dark of the jetty counterattack to the 055 fleet across the four oceans of calm. This power revolution has long exceeded the technical scope, become the winner of the game of sea power. When the U.S. Naval Academy report lamented that the Western Pacific ship's tonnage comparison has been reversed, Chinese engineers are looking to the farther stars. Shipboard fusion reactors on the pre-research drawings, clearly marked with all-electric propulsion 2.0, Rhapsody. Perhaps in less than two decades, the world will witness a scene like this, a super warship carrying China's artificial sun will send a new generation of space fighters into near-Earth orbit in a silent electromagnetic catapult. At this moment, in the Yellow Sea, a test sea, equipped with F-Class 50-megawatt combustion engine 055 improved as 35-knot speed chopping waves, its turbine blades in the 1,600 degrees Celsius high temperature rotating every buzz, are announcing the advent of a new era that had been the yoke of the Western technology shackles of the Chinese Navy, is now with a surging Chinese heart to rewrite the rules of the sea. From the Ukrainian drawings on the confusion to the Arctic ice on the Chinese power, this power breakthrough across two decades not only forged the strong heart of the steel ship, but also quenched a nation into the deep blue of the iron well. In the course of this magnificent adversity, every technological breakthrough is accompanied by a leap in strategic thinking. When the United States is still obsessed with the performance of traditional gas turbines, China has quietly laid out the next generation of all-electric propulsion warships. CGT-40's modular design not only saves space, but also paves the way for a more integrated electric power system. The instantaneous energy demand of electromagnetic railguns is as high as 78 megajoules, which is simply not met by traditional mechanical transmission, and the all-electric architecture can be utilized by supercapacitors, which can be used for the electromagnetic railguns. The all-electric architecture can instantly release power through supercapacitors, increasing the rate of fire to 10 rounds per minute. This shift in thinking of, power is war power, has made Type 055 be the world's first surface ship to deploy high-energy weapons in combat. At the same time, China's breakthrough in the field of high-temperature-resistant materials more staggering to the West, F-class combustion turbine blades using rhenium-nickel superalloys and ceramic-based composite materials, and its creep-resistant life than the United States of America's similar products is 30% higher and even in the extreme test withstood the instantaneous high temperatures of 1,800 degrees Celsius. The radiation effect of this power revolution has gone beyond the military. The order for 20 domestic combustion engines for the Arctic LNG-2 project not only breaks Russia's monopoly in the field of polar energy equipment, but also marks the global recognition of China's high-end equipment. These combustion engines are still able to maintain 95% of their power output in a minus 50 degrees C environment, and their anti-icing design is beyond the reach of traditional Western models. In the civilian field, the 300 MW Class F combustion turbine has been applied in Taishan Nuclear Power Station in Guangdong Province. Its 40.5% thermal efficiency makes the unit cost of power generation drop by 18% and reduces carbon dioxide emission by 420,000 tons per year, which has become the key fulcrum of the dual carbon strategy. This ecology of civil military integration is the deep logic of China's technological breakthrough feeding R&D with market scale, refining cutting-edge technology with civil demand, and ultimately realizing a downward strike in the military field. When the pointer of history back to 20 years ago, no one could imagine that the need to dismantle the second-hand combustion engine drawings of the country today can be a monthly rate of one dumpling-like construction of 10,000 tons of large drive. Today, standing next to the dock in Dalian shipyard, looking at the spectacular scene of 3055 outfitting at the same time, and then compared to the United States Huntington and Gall's shipyard Rusty Burke class production line, one cannot help but feel the ultimate significance of this power revolution, perhaps not to surpass a specific opponent, but to prove the truth, in the on the long march of scientific and technological innovation, there is no insurmountable peak, only the never-ending climbers, 